हाई फ्रेंड्स ओके प्रीवियस्ली वी हेव डिस्कस्ड अबउट द फेजस् आफ कंपैलर ओके वी हेव प्रोवैड दट लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन गो थ्रू इट दट ईज अबउट फेजस् आफ कंपैलर ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट टापिक इज इनपुट बफरिंग सो वाट इज इनपुट बफरिंग सो वाट इज द मेन टास्क आफ द इनपुट बफरिंग मीन आक्चुअली वाट विल हेपे इन द लेक्सिकल एनलर will reads the source program characters by character and produces the stream of tokens okay so in order to read these tokens the lexical analyzer mainly use the two pointers okay so lexical analyzer will read character by character and it will produce as the stream of tokens so the lexical analyzer mainly in order to read the tokens the lexical analyzer mainly use two pointers so in that the first one is lexim pointer second one is a forward pointer okay the first one is a lexim pointer second one is a forward pointer so what is the definition of the lexim pointer means it marks in the beginning of the current lexim okay and coming to the forward point it scans the head until the pattern match is found for example see here lexim means starting point forward means it will move forward for example you consider int main okay so int main what is the first letter he initially the lexim pointer and forward pointer will be placed in the i at the place of i it will scan it will read this uh, identifier then it will move to the next one forward pointer will move to the second second stage and again it will move to the next again next here it will find the blank space so then this total one is a one character again afterwards space again the forward pointer and the lexim pointer will be placed here okay lexim pointer and forward pointer will be placed at the m again it will move to the a again i again n okay so after reading the parenthesis it will uh, declare that it is main till here it is finished if it will find the any blank spaces enter space tab space then automatically it will terminate then again it will enter in the uh, forward pointer and lexim pointer will be start from there only okay so in this we have two types of bufferings first one is a one buffer scheme and the second one is the two buffer scheme by the word only you can understand that if we, uh, in the one buffer scheme we, we use only one buffer means one block only see understood lexim pointer forward pointer coming to the one buffer scheme this is a one buffer scheme and uh, consider the same so for one buffer scheme we will maintain only one thing okay here forward pointer will be here lexim pointer it will move forward move forward again if you want uh, for the more space for this again it will come back again it will store after storing this here and here this remaining space will be wasted so to uh, overcome this problem the second buffer scheme here we will maintain the two buffers first buffer store the values then again it will next value will be stored here okay so based on the size of the particular Uh, uh, total thing means in order to overcome the overwriting in the one buffer scheme we used to two buffer scheme that is we maintain the two buffers okay we can reduce the by end of the file we can reduce the the overloading and overwriting of the buffers is it clear so input buffering means uh, in the le the lexical analyzer will read the character by character in order to generate the identifiers or tokens so uh, to scan that that words it use the two words lexim pointer and forward pointer okay so lexim pointer means it will in the initial place forward pointer will move to the uh, forward place then it will check if it will find the blank space or enter space or tab space then automatically it will terminate it will consider as a one identifier one token one uh, one keyword like that it will consider okay so how many types of buffering are there two types of buffering one buffer two buffer one buffer means we'll be until only one buffer to store the values so why uh, we are using two buffer means in the one buffer after filling the total table see total buffer so we want to fill one more uh, value then it will come back so after filling the one value the remaining total total space will be 
wasted so that is the reason we are using the two buffer scheme in that we in this we will maintain the two buffers okay the value will be stored after filling the first buffer the second buffer will be utilized thank you